This is the story of Gordy, the ring, and the clever mouse. Gordy was going to the beach with his dad, mom, and baby Melody, who wasn't really a baby anymore. She was walking on her own and talking a little bit. Now, on the way to the beach, Gordy saw something shiny on the ground. When they were almost at the beach, he ran to look at it. It was a beautiful sparkly ring. <gasps> Gordy picked it up and said, Oh, this is beautiful. He showed it to Mommy and Daddy, and they said, Ooh, that's very nice. It wasn't a real ring. It was only plastic, but it was coated with the shiniest, shiniest plastic paint that made it look so sparkly and beautiful. Gordy loved it. Can I keep it, he said. Of course, Daddy said. There are lots of things people lose on the beaches. And if you find something, you can keep it. Now, when Gordy got home, he washed up the ring and put it on his finger. Oh, it was too big. So Gordy decided to put it on his toe. Oh, that worked very well. It actually fit his toe. But it was a little bit bumpy to wear, so he didn't really like putting it on his toe. He decided to keep it on his desk and just look at it. Gordy spun around and pointed at the books on his bookshelf and said, I'm reading a book now. He pulled one out that said, The Mouse and the Lion. The Mouse and the Lion? I wonder what that's about. Gordy sat down to read. It was a story about the cleverest mouse on the world, who was not afraid of the lion. Normally, lions would eat mice, but this one didn't. The mouse was in the jungle, and as he was walking through, a giant lion snuck up behind him and said, I'm going to eat you. The mouse screamed and said, oh, no, you don't. The mouse had to think very fast because the lion could gobble him up in one go. The mouse thought hard and said, no. Listen to me, this is very important. I am the king of the jungle, and every animal in the whole jungle is terrified of me. How do you dare say you will eat me? I am the most ferocious, scary animal in the jungle. The lion rolled his eyes and roared with laughter as he thought this was the silliest thing he had ever heard. But he said, well, I don't believe you one bit. However, I'll give you a chance to prove yourself. Let's walk through the jungle a little bit. And let me see if anything we bump into is afraid of you. The mouse jumped up, puffed up its chest, and started marching confidently through the jungle. The first thing they came to was a bird that was swooping down onto a branch right near the mouse. But it got one glimpse of the lion and turned around and squawked and flew the other way. There, you see, said the mouse. That bird was terrified of me and you wanted to eat me. The lion said that must just chance. I'm sure it wasn't. Something else has scared it. It wasn't you. All right, said the mouse. Come on, let's go. Let's go to where something bigger lives. There are tigers over this way. Follow me, and I'll show you that the tigers are even afraid of me. The mouse marched, marched, marched through the forest to where the tigers were gathered. The lion marched behind. And the mouse let out a loud squeak to get all the, lion, the tigers' um, attention. All the tigers looked quickly that way and they saw the huge lion. And all of them went and ran away. You see, said the mouse, I'm a right scary chap and you wanted to eat me. 
The lion couldn't believe his eyes. He said, that's, it can't be. Come on, let's walk again. If one more thing is scared of you, then I'll believe you. I still don't believe you. All right, said the mouse. Down this way are where all the elephants are. Now, if an elephant is as scared of me, I'm only as big as its toe, then you know I am the king of the jungle. The mouse marched, marched, marched to where the elephants always gathered, and it let out a loud squeak to get all the elephants' attention. The elephants all saw the huge lion standing there, and they ran as fast as they could, trampling down the jungle to get away. There, you see, said the mouse, and you wanted to eat me. I am the most terrifying, scary animal in the jungle. You better not eat me, because I am the king. The lion could not even believe his eyes and ears, but he saw it. Every place they went, all the animals were scared of the mouse. The lion just couldn't believe it. He didn't eat the mouse, and he went his way with his head hanging. Now, what does this story mean? Do you know? You shouldn't be scared, afraid of big things. No matter how scary they are, you have to tell them to go away. Yes, and you have to be clever and use the circumstances that you have. It wasn't wrong for the mouse to do that. It was very clever. Yes, he thought of a very good plan to use the scary thing yes, that he had. Mm -hmm. he, he used the scary situation he had and turned it around so that the lion wouldn't eat him. Even though and he wasn't the king, he was just a normal mouse. They were looking at the lion that was scared. Yep, okay. that's right. So the story is saying be clever. When you're in a situation that looks so very scary, you don't know what to do about it, you have to be quiet. Pray and think, and then God will give you an answer always. He will always answer you, and you'll be able to use whatever he puts in your mind to make the situation turn around. And that is the end of the Gordy story.